the indian t20 league has expanded this year with two new teams added we are going to talk all about the ahmedabad team which is a new entrant into the indian t20 league let's talk all about that with arun here at time out with sports adda Arun, the biggest cricket stadium in the world is at Ahmedabad. So the the city had to have a franchise of their own, isn't it? In cricket, only makes commercial sense. Only makes sporting sense, Akil. Uh, and I give you cricketing logic to it as well. It's got the flattest pitches in the world, I presume. So it's only <laughs> it's, it's only fair that you hold T Twenty games in Ahmedabad. Mm, it's going to be a delight. I don't know if fans will be allowed, but uh, just to fill up that stadium and getting getting the ticketing revenue going is going to be a massive one for the new franchisee which has come. Uh, interesting picks they've they've also made around uh, interesting picks that they have also made. Uh, the retention, the the kind, the drafts uh, that they had the option to select the top three players. They've gone with some interesting names, isn't it? Ardik Pandya as the captain, a homegrown boy from Gujarat. Uh, as a captain is is a very very interesting choice first time he's going to be captaining a team uh, mm. thoughts about that uh, i mean you can understand the logic behind uh, signing up hardik pandya uh, like you mentioned home grown boy but there are big question marks akil over his his fitness you know also what is the kind of role that the team wants him to play you know for all these years in the last 5 6 7 years we wanted Hardik Pandya, the all-rounder. You know, his 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 overs with the ball were very very valuable to the Indian team and to Mumbai. Yeah. But now that that part of his his game is slightly reduced, so we don't know how much of of, of a of value he will be. What scope they will use Hardik Pandya, but it's a very very interesting selection. Hmm. Okay. They had lots of options to go with, right? As a as a captain and and trying to pick their first player, uh, they had the option of going for somebody like a Shreya Sayar, who's already been captain for two three seasons for a um, for for a big team. So they had those kind of options. They are, again, uh, they did not go for KL Rahul. So obviously there must have been a negotiation between the two teams and KL Rahul. So they've decided to go for Hardik, which is interesting. Uh, I was also surprised that they decided to go for somebody like a Shubman Gill. While he's a he's obviously the future of Indian cricket, lot of lot of big hopes. Uh, he's shown what he can do in Australia with that beautiful knock in in the last Test match. But T20 cricket, he's not really set any anything on fire as of now. Even for Kolkata, he's just batted sensibly at a, at a decent strike rate, but nothing to set like the entire tournament on fire so far. So thoughts on Gill? Uh, before a quick comment on Hardik Akil, I, I think you may have mentioned it. Hardik's not captain. He's only captain one game in his career and at the senior level. I think he's only captain in one first class game. So that's a big. That's that's going to be a huge challenge. You know, there are players who are born captains. Uh, most of the captains, if you look around, are born captains. You know, you, it's very difficult to make or create a captain. So that's a bit of a. Uh, uh, that's a question mark for me. Uh, There were various other options available, you know, if they wanted to sign the captain. But I, I think in a tournament like the Indian T20 League, it, it's all about what adds value to the brand. I mean, you being you being an individual who works with brand, I'm sure you will be able to explain this better. But coming back to Gill, uh, for me, Gill Gill was a sturdy choice. You know, you, you even in a T20 competition, you need bankers, right? And you mentioned about Shubman Gill not setting the stage on fire, not setting the competition on fire. I think that was his role in his previous team, which is Kolkata, hmm. right? They wanted him to bat a certain number of overs and then you know leave it to the others to ex- go ex- go ex- and explode. So, so that was the role given to him. Having said that, I think this is an individual who's got all the strokes in the book, who's got the temperament to to take the next step. And when I when I say temperament to take the next step, I think he's got the ability to improve on his game and bring in the attacking element. I mean, it, it, it's about we've seen. I mean, it, there are very few players who can be typecast into that you know old traditional play correct yeah. format. Yeah. I mean, even you, you speak about so many names, even a Ajinkya Rahane, even a Shikhar Dhawan. 
right there were times when we all we spoke about them as 50 over game not quite suited go back in time even rahul dravid for that matter yeah right they were all type cast as you know the the traditional cricket cricket players but even they've shown the ability to innovate add to the game same with shubman gill i think he's got the ability to 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 add to his game and adapt hmm. Okay, okay. So we don't have any trends there to go for for this team. This is the first time they are they, that they're going to be competing in the league. Uh, but but interesting trend. And before I ask you for your your maybe three to four picks uh, that you think that the team will go for, is this selection selection pattern that that this coaching staff Arun is going to be coming with. This coaching pattern, this, the coaching team is is not is not new. Ashish Nehra has been. With a franchisee, he's been with uh, the Bangalore franchisee for a while. Uh, for a while, so has Vikram Solanki. Along with Ashish Nehra, he was also there, and Gary Kirsten was also there at the same time. Uh, interestingly, Gary Kirsten has has been a T20 coach for a while. Around in the in the Indian league, he's tried he's tried his luck, I think, with Delhi and then with Bangalore for a couple of seasons, but not really tasted much success. And neither. Did Ashish Nehra and Vikram Solanki that combination enjoy much success in Bangalore? So it's going to be interesting that they have been uh, they've got the first choice. They've been the first choice for this franchisee to try and try and build a squad around that. So it's going to be interesting to see how Ashish Nehra, who's been who he's been a super hit with what he speaks in in commentary and the way he analyzes teams and coaches and players. Now it's time that he's going to be analyzed, uh, also scrutinized. You you pull the words out of my mouth. The literally, <laughs> uh, the reason I say that is, you know, there are question marks over Gary Kirsten, the T20 coach. Like you mentioned, you know, hasn't had the greatest of results with Bangalore. Hasn't had a great time with Delhi. Uh, he may have coached elsewhere in the world as well. Uh, so there are question marks about him. But I tell you what, Gary Kirsten, now with this setup, with with this setup. He's got the scope to build together a team, and when I say team, not just for one season, but you know, I remember reading a couple of interviews where Gary Kirsten actually made reference to Chennai, Mumbai, and Kolkata, and that they were more like a family, and that's that's more like you know Gary Kirsten's theory. That that's the way Gary Kirsten approaches things. Even if you look at the Indian team of 2011, 2010, when he was India coach, he had a core set of players. So I think this this works well. Gary Kirsten. Has a very good chance of succeeding in this setup, uh, whereas in the other setup he was brought in with the team already in place, with the structure in place. Uh, probably didn't have as much say as he would have liked, but here he's the boss. It's his team. So I'm looking forward to Gary Kirsten's tenure. Ashish Nehra is full of energy. You know, he, he speaks what he sees, he says what he sees, uh, and he's got he's got a thousand. The challenge for Ashish Nehra is he's got a thousand thoughts running in his mind. How is he able to, you know, control all these thoughts, channelize into, channelize them into, into let's say a formula, you know, into a structure, and get the best out of himself? That's going to be uh, what I'm going to be closely watching. Hmm. All right. So before before I go ahead and we have a pick over the three four players that we think are going to be picked by this team, Arun. Uh, there is a contest again that we are running at Time Out with Sports Adda, like we've been doing over over the past few past few uh, sessions. Uh, we are we are in, we are asking viewers, our our people who regularly listen in to us, uh, we are asking them to go and comment about which are the players that they think that the Ahmedabad franchisee will will pick up. And uh, if their answers match with what actually happens on the auction day, then they stand a chance to win some time out with Sports Adda merchandise. Like like we've been giving out merchandise in the past, so that's the contest that we are running here. So in case you want to comment, you leave your answers. Uh, tell us who are the players you think that the Ahmedabad franchisee will go for. Go onto our YouTube section, like this video, and just post in your answers in the comment section, and um, you will stand a chance to win some beautiful merchandise that that you always give out. Um, okay, so Arun, before we wrap up, uh, three or four players. Uh, I'm just going to give you a couple of interesting names that I think uh, that Ahmedabad might go for. Uh, knowing Ashish Nehra, I think he's going to go for a lot of young uh, young batters, maybe from for somebody like a Nitish Rana from Delhi. Oh, who he's seen grown up for a while. Uh, even somebody like an Ishan Kishan, who uh, knowing Ashish Nehra, he likes those flamboyant kind of players who can change games. Uh, he would have definitely gone for a Rishabh Pant because I know he's a huge Rishabh Pant fan. So he might go for players in that Rishabh Pant mold, uh, flashy players who can win games of their own bats. 
uh, I'm looking forward to maybe an Ishan Kishan or uh, Nitish Rana kind of players going there to Ahmedabad, knowing what Ashish Nehra would look at. You have maybe one or two picks from your side. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the Ashish Nehra, but again, the question is, how, how do they, how do they sit at the auction table and come to our understanding? You know, there's obviously various various individuals involved, so I don't know. The, uh, I don't know how the structure works, honestly. I don't know who's got the, the final authority on on going for a player. So, so I, I don't know. I'm looking at somebody like a Quinton Decock, maybe. Uh, uh, they need, uh, of course, they've got they've got a blank canvas. So I think they need players in Quinton Decock, somebody like a Quinton Decock. I'll be keeping a close eye on two other players. One is Krudal Pandya. Obviously, does 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 he get the support of the brother? Yeah, uh, is one name I'm looking at, and I'm looking at Mohammad Nabi. The reason I say Mohammad Nabi is because there's Rashid Khan. Um, how much of an influence Rashid Khan will have over that team? And, and Mohammad Nabi, I believe, has been very, very underutilized in his previous franchise, which was mm. Hyderabad. Uh, you know, he's he plays around the world, Akhil. He performs around the world, but when it comes to the Indian T20 league, he's been very, very sparingly used, which I mm. cannot point. fathom why. So I'm looking at perhaps you know Mohammad Nabi getting into that into that side. All right, Tarun's given his choice. I've I've given a couple of names that I think that uh, Ahmedabad might go for. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please do go in, uh, go onto our YouTube channel, send us your replies in the comment section. We'd love to hear more from you. Uh, that's it for us from the Ahmedabad fran- franchisee. We'll be back here. Uh, there are lots of other teams that we have to be talking about. Stay tuned and please keep giving us your thoughts, your suggestions. Thank you so much.